All right, man. Top of the goddamn morning to you. So, first things first. Always top of the goddamn morning. No matter what time it is, top of the goddamn morning somewhere. So, just checked in with AJ Ellison. You know what I'm saying? Um, 53 weeks of being consistent with diet, man. I had my mess up, you know. Fucked up a lot. But, uh, still rolling. This is my morning routine. Every Saturday. Unfortunately, I got to go to work. Normally, this would be a rest day, but... If I, if I gotta go to work, I really don't even feel I need to take a rest day. So, I might as well just keep on rolling, go, go up, eat, go on to the gym, you know what I'm saying? Shower, get ready for work, keep the routine going. First things first, breakfast. Oh, you know I love cooking, so. You'll see I do a lot of Chef Ramsay quotes. They want to get a nice hot pan. Hit that sizzle and those eggs hit the pan. Today we're doing a, a lovely avocado egg white omelette. <laughs> you gotta keep yourself entertained, man. As you, can, as you can hear. This is all the noise I get. Everybody else sleep. There you go. Alright. So what I do is, I don't waste nothing. This right here, I'm gonna rewash this. Crack my egg whites for tomorrow morning. Put it right in there, boom. Tomorrow's breakfast already done. I'm in pretty good shape though. Everything in the dishwasher is already clean. So I got a little handful of dishes I gotta wash. So yeah, since we on the topic, morning routine. You gotta get a routine, guys. Um, it's gotta be every day. Sticking with it, sticking with it. You gotta get into a little rhythm. Trust me, my schedule was all over the place this year. I had to, I pretty much had to box all that weight off of me, man. Like I said, you know, I lost over 100 pounds, so it had to be relentless, man, because life is going to be relentless. You going to have a job. Ain't nobody giving a damn about your workout goals, your fitness goals. Family, eh, we love you. We don't give a damn about your fitness goals. They ain't going to say it because they love you, but anybody don't give a damn. All they see is you in the kitchen cooking a damn bunch of food. That's all they see. Now they might say, yeah, we understand, we get it, we love you, but at the end of the day, it's your goal, your mission. You gotta make it happen. Regardless of who feels what about it. So some, some days it's gonna seem like you being cold and ruthless or whatever. You don't want to spend time, and oh, you don't ever come kick it with us, and you know at work, especially at work. The work, work is the devil. Hey, come on, we got free lunch in here today. Stay away from that damn free lunch at work. All right, so we're gonna do this avocado omelet. Let me see if I can get y'all a little closer. Jack see the magic. <laughs> oh man. I love watching cooking shows. I tell a lot of people, man. The same way I got fat is the same way I'm getting fit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta cook and enjoy the food, man. I notice a lot of people in fitness don't even like food. They just wanna look a certain way. And that's sad, man. It's not healthy. You got more trouble out here drinking fucking Meal, putting chicken breast and rice and broccoli in the shape and, and drinking the shit because they're too lazy to sit down and eat and enjoy the meal. Talking about the shit take too long. Get your ass out here, man. Okay. Now, 
Y'all gonna see this a lot. Oh, you're not supposed to have sodium. Sodium, you need sodium. Hey, man, hey, 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 hey. You ain't no motherfucking cover model. Um, you're not a runway model. Um, you're not a TV host. You ain't being on TV. What you do about salt for? Drink enough water to flush out the system. Cause this here complete. This is a South Florida state, but I'm born and raised in Miami. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna get you some arms like bees, hey man, you gotta eat you a little. Hold on, hold on. See, y'all ain't used to my Instagram. You wanna get you some arms like bees? You gotta eat, man. Alright. Give it a nice turn. So what we're doing is turning it. Making sure the bottom is completely cooked. All right. right up under it. Flip it. Turn the fire off. I'm gonna turn the fire off, leave it in the pan. And what's gonna happen is, as we're seasoning it, Pressing the omelet, the bottom side should keep cooking because the pan is still hot. Put a little bit of Keon pepper in there, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all, I'm going to be consistent with my YouTube videos this year. 2020 experience, baby. I'm still in the back from JT. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I be on my suit and tie shit, tie shit. Take me on my suit and tie shit, tie shit. Let me show you a few things, a few things, a few things. Little baby, the happy when I do tie shit, tie shit. Tell me. I be on my... Oh, no. Nah. Y'all will see me doing this. Now we're running low on sea salt, so I gotta use this very sparingly. So what I'm gonna do is, since it's a little bit, I'm gonna just pour this in my hand before I go to the gym. Take it like a G. All right. You hear it calming down? So what we're gonna do is, I eat with a spoon. I ain't got time to be, oh, I have a knife and fork and eating. This ain't an enjoyable meal, man. I be trying to put these meals down. No cheat meal this week, so I ain't trying to enjoy no meal. Except for my breakfast. I'm a breakfast guy. And you just want to gently place that avocado onto the omelet while it's still in the pan. That's good right there, man. We're gonna put the rest on top. And don't want none of y'all clowns come on here talking about the color of my avocado. I don't give a damn, I'm gonna eat it. These things is two for four dollars. Y'all let checkers are eating two for fours. I'm paying two for four for avocados. So what you're gonna do is, give it another time. So I get gangster with it now. I ain't got no cards in this meal, so I gotta dress it up and make it real for me, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck that mean. Alright, that is looking good. Hey man, y'all stick around, I could damn cook, man. Y'all ain't getting nothing though. Remember, 
I ain't got no fancy YouTube production yet, so y'all finna get all these. Y'all finna get all these phone videos. Just got it onto the plate. I watch a lot of Master Chef. Every morning I make my breakfast. I'm like, look, they will not throw my shit in the garbage. That's the ultimate disrespect on a uh, on Master Chef. Your shit sucks. So what we're gonna do is use this old Johnny seasoning. Oh, sodium. Look, you're not supposed to have sodium. No salt. Low salt. Low sodium. Guess what? It's all about flavor, man. What, what, it's about whatever you can stick to. Trust me now. Your favorite YouTuber hasn't lost 100 pounds. My highest was 330. Enjoying the holidays. My lowest was 203. But enjoying the holidays, my birthday, I, 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 I'm plumped up to 208, but you know, still full of salt. And guess what? I'm still finna put the flavor guide on there, because that's what it's for, flavor. Right on that avocado. Because if your shit nasty, you just not finna eat the same food all year. And don't correct me how I talk. That's another thing on this channel, don't fucking correct me. I don't like that. I'm a product of the hood. Born and raised in the county of Dade. 183rd, 27th, 183rd, 32nd, 183rd, 47th. Hey, 199th and 27th. That's what, all of that. Down 199th, all the way down to to 57th, 199th, all the way down, going into to where I can hit Miramar. If I go down to 67th and bust that right, that's all my stomping grounds. They're everywhere, that whole uh, that whole radius is my stomping grounds. If you think I'm lying, anybody from from Miami, Carroll City, man. Triple C's. I left a stain off in Carroll City. <laughs> Let me finish this up. I'm hungry as hell. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. My favorite hot sauce. Y'all gonna see this hot sauce in every video you see me in. They might as well give me an endorsement because I'm finna eat. Man, look. This is Valentino. This Mexican hot sauce. See, I've been watching Master Chef. You know, you gotta spill some on the plate, make it look fancy. Yeah, yeah, man. Sriracha. Z. I, for some reason, this doesn't look appetizing to me unless I put in a Z or zigzags. So I'm gonna hit it right on the top. I know it looks like a mess, but hey, this is what I like. Very appetizing. A lot of salt. It's 6:11. I'm probably gonna be in the gym no later than seven o'clock. Um, I would like to get in there sooner because this meal ain't got no carbs. It goes down real quick. A little bit of nutritional yeast for some. This side curved my cheese craving. I was doing good all year, but like around like October, it started to come back. All right. Okay. I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I'll show you how I make my whole breakfast. the coffee taste that much better and screw y'all y'all talking about my spoon though i know somebody i know i watch you i'm a youtube watcher too man so i know all the crap y'all talking in the comments so i'm already ready for y'all that's why a, a thing i tell a lot of people man especially my overweight people if you got 20 pounds or more to lose a body fat you need to be following my channel because i'm giving y'all the game your favorite YouTuber, hey, you know, that's cool, but if you got more than 20 pounds or more to lose, you're mine. You need to be following me. Don't be following the guys that's been 170 pounds his whole life. 
as an adult. From 21 and up, he's been 170 pounds. Not because he works hard. Just because that's some people's genetics. Some people baby as fuck. They can't get big. So don't follow that person if you're overweight, a heavy person or overweight. Anyways, don't let me start rambling this time of morning. Normally I'm quiet. I do a verbal fast every morning. So what you want to do is, see, this is I'm giving y'all the game because I'm giving y'all years of experience, man. All the stuff I thought I didn't need to use for fitness, God had other plans, man. My first job was at Dunkin' Donuts at 17. That summer going to 12th grade. So I learned how to make a mean cup of coffee. My lady's going to hammer me when she sees this me using her vanilla extract. But it is what it is. So what I'm doing is making my coffee. But this coffee is very special because it's going to help my joints, man. When I was up, give y'all a little bit. I'll give y'all a little bit of this story. But I don't really be talking to people online about it. I want to twist shit up, make it complicated, but when I was up in them 280s, like when I just hit like under 290, when I hit the 280s, like my ankle was killing me, all my joints was killing me, adjusting to me losing all that heavy weight, so I started using ginger, cinnamon, drinking green tea once a week, minimum, and uh, I would put it in my shake, I will put it in my coffee, I put it in my oatmeal, and uh, yeah, it just started running away. My baby boy, he loves snacks. So I got him some snacks last night. He finna tear those up. Hmm. Sumatra or Calibu? I go Sumatra. That's my bitch. My new bitch. The bitches veranda. Alright. Show y'all how to do this. Let the Keurig work, so don't, don't interrupt it. It's my damn spoon. I'm finna eat off of it. You wanna stir while that hot coffee is hitting that, that powder. simple throw it in the garbage all right what this video is 18 minutes so are you telling me you ain't got a few minutes to wake up in the morning make a cup of coffee make something to eat real quick come on man because when i was eating less egg whites uh when i had my oats and peanut butter and all that good stuff man I, that was even faster We're going to talk about that, too. I know somebody going to say something about my coffee, but uh, let me tell you a little bit about me, too. I work in a one million square foot warehouse. I'm going to drink my coffee because I'm going to walk these little 60 calories off. So, that's it, y'all. Coffee, got my breakfast, ready to ride. I'll let y'all.